Hey guys, we are back with another interview problem. That is find three smallest elements in a given array. Okay, so we have given an array of integers and we have to find three smallest element in the array. So let's take a few examples. So we have here six, eight, one, nine, two, ten. So you can see the three smallest element are one, two, and six. Here we have six, eight, one, nine, two, one, ten, ten. So we have one, one, and two, right? And third case is we have only one element. So this is an invalid input. The array side should be uh, uh, three or more, right? So let's go to our uh, blackboard. Okay, so let's say this is the given array, okay? So first thing what we'll do, we'll have three variables. Okay, so let's call those variables are first, second, and third. Okay, so initially, all these variables are assigned um, infinity value. So now we will iterate the array. Okay, so the first element is six. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll compare six with the first variable, right? So six is less. So what we'll do, we'll assign uh, first variable as six, okay? And before we do that, we'll assign the uh, first, var first variable to the second one, which is infinity, and second variable to the third one. So that is also infinity. Okay, now the second element. Second element is eight, right? So first variable is less than eight, so we'll not do anything. But the second element is greater than eight. So now we'll assign eight to the second variable. But before that, we'll what we'll do? We'll assign the second variable to the third one, which is also infinity. Now the third element is one. So what we'll do, uh, compare it with the first one. So six is greater than one. So what we'll do, we'll assign eight here, six here, and one here, right? Now next element is five. So one is less than five, so we'll not touch that. Six is greater than five. So we need to assign five to second. But before that, what we'll do, we'll assign six to the third variable. So this will become six. And now we'll assign five to second. And this is one, right? Now next element is nine. So nine is greater than all of these, all of these variables. So we'll not touch. Next is 12. So uh, 12 is greater than one, five, and six. So we'll not do anything. Next is third so three is greater than one so we'll not do anything here but three is less than five right so we need to assign three to the second variable but before that what we'll do we'll assign the second variable to the third one so five and now we'll assign three and one now the last element is seven and seven is greater than all of these elements so we'll not do anything. So now, now we have done with the iteration and these three, one, three, five, are the three smallest element. One, three, and five, right? So let's go back to the problem. Okay, so approach, take three variables, call them first, second, and third, mark them as infinity, and I trade the array for each element. Let's call it current. So check if first is greater than current. If yes, assign first value to the second, second value to the third, assign current to the first one. Okay. If the above step is not true, then current element might be the candidate for the second is smallest element. So check if current is less than second. If yes, assign second variable to the third and assign current to the second, right? 
and if the above step is not true the current element might be the candidate for the third smallest element so check if current is less than third if yes assign it to third right so let's quickly look at the code so this is our function and it takes uh, uh, integer array as input okay so first thing we'll check if the array length is less than three if yes return it invalid input okay else we'll take three variables first second and third and assign it to the integer max value okay now we'll iterate this array and for each l each current element first we'll check if the first is greater than the current if yes uh, assign second to third first to second current to first right if that's not the case check if second is greater than current if yes assign second to third and current to second and lastly if the third is greater than current then assign current to the third right and at the end print first second and third so we have here six eight one nine two ten so elements are one to six okay so you can click here to run this code and uh, you can click here um, to see the python implementation and go implementation for the same code right so now we can mark this problem as completed and please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interview problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye